What's going on, everybody? This is Stubbs here from Retro Handhelds, and we're going to do something different today. So we talk about emulation handhelds a lot on this channel, but now uh, with everyone talking about this Tears of the Kingdom thing, what is that? Oh yeah, it's the latest Zelda game. Well, there's a new Switch out. This is the special edition Tears of the Kingdom OLED Switch here, and I just was drawn to it from the awesome gold Joy-Cons that it has. Uh, Switch content is not something I've really gotten into. While I've had Switches over the years, I haven't used them a ton because I've been so deep in emulation. And so this has kind of revitalized my love for modern day gaming. So I went ahead and picked one of these up and I'm gonna compare it to a Switch Lite. Switch Lite has been my favorite over all of the Switch models, but can an OLED uh, with this brighter, more beautiful screen compare uh, what's the differences? So let's just look at that really quick and maybe show off a few games. All right. So here is the OLED switch put together. I love that it has this Zelda green and gold coloring. Now it is the same gold. It looks like on the left and the right, but my lighting might show it off a little differently. It has some white drawings there. On the back, it has some minimal pattern I like the OLED because it has a kick out stand here which is nicer than the older switch models that just had that one foot that stuck out so you put your SD card in there and you have a graduated kind of smooth placement for this kickstand ooh I like that it's nice for for gripping we got clicky face buttons here all the way around clicky d-pad i don't like this like this is old school to me i mean this is like uh, uh, mid 2010s aliexpress jank that you would find not the quality don't get me wrong this is awesome quality but just the fact that we're separating out the d-pad and now i understand why nintendo does this it's so you can pull off the the, the joy con so you still have face buttons if you're playing maybe a multiplayer game i just still how many people really really use that use case i'm not really sure but joysticks are solid there is rumors that uh and evidence that stick drift is common on these and so you got to clean them out quiet clicky l1 r1 Everything on this is clicky, but it's quiet at least. I just, I don't like the micro switches so much. Comparing to my favorite model, which is the Switch Lite, I like how everything's mushy. And look, this looks more like a handheld to me. Not only is it all in one, uh, the 5.5 inch screen here, but you have an actual D-pad with really good pivot, good play, good travel. Joy-Con uh, joysticks here still feel good, but really nice and mushy face buttons that are quiet. The same L1, R1 it sounds like and feels like and shoulders feel similar. No kickstand on the back. But you have your spot for your micro SD card. It used to be in the past that the Switch Lite over time was not super ergonomic and my hands would tend, tend to cramp up. But after using so many emulation handhelds in the last few years, I've found myself holding this a bit more comfortably in for long-term playing. Whereas I was playing uh, the OLED Switch last night and this one was a bit of a reach between the analog stick and the face buttons. I noticed it was tiring to use this. So I still think I might like the Switch Lite better. But you can't deny that the screen is just beautiful on this. So let's start this bad boy up. Well, obviously, there's no comparison. There's just really beautiful saturation on the OLED. And uh, on the light, while still an awesome panel, has a bit more yellowing in it. Or rather, has a bit more yellow coloring in the, in the color space. But when you're using the handheld on its own, I've never ever had an issue with the quality of this panel. It's beautiful, it's crisp, it's bright. And the OLED, you know what? Sometimes the OLED is almost too saturated and too intense and vibrant. So I like that there's a setting. If you go into system settings here and you can change that 
to not be so intense on the eyes. And there's a, you can switch between the default of vivid and standard. So if we look at standard, I think now it's a little bit more like for like. You don't have that sort of option on the switch light. I mean, yeah, both screens look great. In fact, now on the standard coloring, I would say that the switch light even looks a little bit more vibrant. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Which of these screens do you prefer? OLED's beautiful, but light's still serviceable. And I think I like the light better still at the end of the day. But we don't want to just talk about systems. We want to play good games. So we have two of the best hits on the Switch library here. Coco Melon, Play With JJ, and Fantasy Friends. People keep talking about the Zelda game, and I'm like, nobody's talking about Coco Melon. Nobody. I went into GameStop, and the guy was like, what are you talking about? No one's bought that game. I bought the display uh, version of the game because they didn't have any to sell because nobody buys it. I said, this is ridiculous. This is a popular kids franchise. Um, you know, speakers are excellent on both of these, by the way. Do you guys want to see more Switch content from us? We can definitely do some Switch stuff. Um, as far as hacking Switches, emulating on Switches, I probably won't do too much of that. Not only because I'm scared to break the thing, uh, to get the to solder in the chip on this, but... I don't think Nintendo's too keen on people uh, showing that stuff off these days. One of my favorite Nintendo Switches, of course, is going to be this one. Uh, this is a pretty nice Switch. It uh, it plays all the games, and it uh, runs real fast, and I like it a lot. Very comfortable and ergonomic. We might show some of my favorite Switch games on this at some point, though. Oh, no. Everything's happening. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. God, why are these... Why are these kids songs so catchy? Who writes this? Pretty sure, like, all the hit record producers in the world started uh, quitting their day jobs and writing these jingles for these kids' games because they're ridiculously catchy and they get stuck in my head. You know, I used to have fun bands like like Smashing Pumpkins or like, I don't know, My Chemical Romance or something like epic songs in my head. And now it's just wheels on the bus and quack quack and ducks and frogs and I don't know what's happening anymore. Oh, wait, we got to find the duck. Okay. Third little duck. There it is. There it is. There's the third little duck. We found it, everybody. Okay, where's the fourth duck? Where's the fourth duck? <laughs> I found a game I'm good at, everybody. quack you guys see it where's that duck at yes haha -ha! yes all right enough coco melon do you want to look at tears of the kingdom let's play tears of the kingdom this people are saying is the best zelda game ever made there's already lists like games radar that's saying ranking this as the number one Zelda game of all time, how they come to that conclusion with only a few days under their belt in the game. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if this is the best. I still think link to the past is probably my personal favorite. And I've actually never played much of breath of the wild skyward sword, any of those later Zelda games. This is kind of going to be my first 
re-entry into the franchise. I think the last one I beat was A Link to the Past. I almost beat Ocarina of Time, but I got stuck messing around with chickens. Uh, people have been using this game to do some interesting content lately. Instead of saving the princess, uh, they're doing things like building these big statue men with these uh, anger... Uh, this with with angry appendages of fire. People are saying that the graphics in this game look like they're from the PS2 era. Yeah, you know, this Tegra X1 chip is definitely aging. And the fact that they're putting a new game on this chip, pushing as much as this game looks like it's attempting to do, like Elden Ring or something, it's going to run into some challenges. Now, if you dock the Switch, you're going to get a little more oomph, higher resolution, uh, running in handheld mode, you can see definitely the anti-aliasing or the aliasing going on here and the jaggies. You can tell that it's lower resolution. You can tell that it's not running all of its effects. So I don't love this in handheld mode. I think it would probably look better on the Switch Lite. I would say for a 3D Zelda, this is pretty fun so far, though. No big issues. I hear it runs great on Steam Deck. And yeah, this panel is absolutely gorgeous, though. If you want a Nintendo Switch, this one or the other, or any other one you might like, uh, I do have links in our description here. We have a few other uh, other games on here. Um, I like Metroid Prime Remastered. That's one that I'm excited to try out on here. Uh, Cuphead, Klonoa, Mega Man 11. My wife and I are going to play through Borderlands, the pre-sequel on here together. And we're excited to do that. Uh, I like that Nintendo has this emulation shop that they make you pay for every year. And there's there's classic games in there. You got everything from NES, Game Boy, up through N64. So I kind of like that. I don't love that N64 doesn't have save state options, even though that it's based on Muppin, I'm pretty sure, in the back end. And so save states should work no problem. They haven't included them here. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's fun. Oh, there's new games. You have to flip them. Ooh, Wave Race, Mario Golf. All right, and dopamine, dopamine, dopamine's running wild right now. Oh my God, here we go. What do we got next? We got GoldenEye, we got Pokemon Stadium. We got all sorts of things. We got Kirby the Crystal Shards. We got Mario Golf. We got Zelda Majora's Mask, whatever you want. Just come up, come, come on, play it on Nintendo. There you go, Nintendo, 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 Nintendo. Say Nintendo 10 times fast, like we say PPSSPP. Although PPSSPP might not run in here. It might run in here if you hack the, uh, the Switch. And I'm sorry, everybody. I just had a stroke. Okay. Um, I like that they added Game Boy Advance. This was new since the last time I had a Switch. Box art looks good. I like how it kind of pops out at you. There's not a lot of Game Boy Advance games yet. Also saw that they put Zelda... Um, some Zelda games in there, and also they have Sega Genesis, and they have Super Nintendo. This does have cloud saves now. You can make a family account. You can share games around. You can set a primary and a secondary switch. Blah, 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 blah. It's Wi-Fi. Uh, battery life is not great on the OLED, I've noticed. It's still better on the light in the original model. So I am... Liking the OLED, I love how beautiful it looks, but I guess I'm not sold on it as an overall package. I still prefer this one. It's simple. It works. It fits in the pocket. It plays Nintendo games. Good stuff. Good stuff. Well, everybody, this has been Stubbs with Retro Handhelds. Please do like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed our look at the Nintendo Switches here. Uh, and we'll show you some more of this stuff. Thanks again to our patrons. We couldn't do any of these videos or anything we do without you. Uh, if you want to subscribe, links to that are in our description. There's lots of ways to support the channel. We have merch. We have all kinds of stuff. We have a Discord. We play games in there. We compare. We argue. We bond. Uh... But until next time, this has been Stubbs with Retro Handhelds. Take care of your handhelds, everybody, and take care of each other.